Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video I'm going to be covering how you can install and play games found in your GOG and Epic Game Store libraries on Linux using an application called the Heroic Game Launcher. Now, I've covered this application before on this channel, but a lot's changed since I produced that video, so I think it was time for an updated one. You might be thinking, what is the Heroic Game Launcher? Well, simply put, it's a open source alternative to using the proprietary GOG Galaxy and the Epic Game Store respectively, and it functions by downloading the games directly from their said servers. Now technically, GOG Galaxy and Epic Game Stores themselves are just mere front ends for interacting with servers, and neither of them do need to be installed to launch any games. Now, Heroic works on Windows, Mac OS, Linux and the Steam Deck. Of course, for the latter two, games that use some form of kernel level anti cheat such as EAC or Battleye will need to have enabled support for those platforms in order for the game to launch. However, for further information, you can check out the wiki. So, step one is to install the Heroic Game Launcher. Now, it's actually available on Linux in a wide range of methods, although my recommendation would be to use the Flatpak version, as this version is distribution agnostic, so in theory it should work on, on any distribution that you're using. So the first thing you need to do is enable Flatpak support, and if you just follow the instruction for your distribution, then you'll be up and running in no time. Once you've done that, you can install the application using the recommended method. However, in my case, since I'm using Manjaro, I've installed the Heroic Game Launch using the Flatpak version using PatMac or the AdRemove software application. But either way, use the method that's suitable to your distribution, and once you've installed it, launch the application. So the first time you, you launch Heroic, you'll be prompted to sign into your GOG and your Epic Game Store accounts. And the easiest way to do that is click on the login button here, and then choose the method that's suitable to sign into your account. Once you've done that, either click on the go to library link here, or alternatively click on the library at the top. So from here, you'll see a list of games found in your libraries. For example, they can either be for GOG, Epic, or alternatively, you can actually put them both together. But to install the game, you want to click on the thumbnail, and then funny enough, click the install button. Choose the location of where you wish to install it, and then click install. So the game will now start to download, and once it's finished, the install button will be replaced by a play button, and funny enough, you click the play button, and that will launch the game for you. One other thing you can do is if you click on the store at the left hand side, you can also navigate through either the Epic Game Store webpage, so you can choose like additional games you may want to purchase or see what's available and you can do the same thing for the GOG store as well. Now for most people this is all you really need to do to, in order to get the games to launch on Linux but there are some additional tweaks that you can make if you wish. I mentioned briefly earlier that some games that require EAC or BattleEye may not work on Linux if the developers themselves have not enabled support. However, you can manually install the EAC and BattleEye runtimes for the games that have. And the way that you do that is you navigate to Settings, Wine Extensions, and just make sure you've ticked all four of these options here, which, as you can see, will install the Anti-Cheat Runtime, BattleEye Anti-Cheat Runtime, as well as keep up the, the technology that allows you to run the games up to date as well. In this case, the technology would be D DXVK for Direct x9 10 11 games and vk3d for direct x12 games in addition that some epic games will require you to install the epic online services and you can do that by going to settings advanced and then just ticking the option here which allows you to install the eoc overlay you can also install third party tools such as feral game mode or manga hood if you navigate to settings over and then tick the appropriate option here. As it states here, you do need to have both of these installed beforehand. And finally, although I don't recommend it, you can try out different builds of wine aside from the default one, which is Lutris Wine. And you can do that by clicking on the Wine Manager tab. As you can see, this will bring up a list of wine.ge builds, wine Lutris, as well as proton.ge. And the way that you switch between these is if you go to settings, Go to Wine, and then choose the option you want from the drop-down menu. Now there are also some additional Wine-related options here, such as enabling FSR, or even toggling on eSync or FSync. 
Either way, that covers the Heroic Game Launcher, which is a fantastic open source alternative to using both GAG Galaxy and Epic Game Store. Thank you very much for watching guys, and if you did find this video helpful, then please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll do some more content on this in the future. See you next time guys. Bye now.